Welcome to WP EasyCart. In this video tutorial we're going to walk through how to utilize the Square Payment Gateway and some of the features that EasyCart has to offer with the uh, Square Payment. It's one of our most popular uh, gateways for payments. So let's take a look here at what I have and we'll walk through how to connect it, how to set it up, and also how to use some of the import features to bring your products in. So let's take a look here. I've got a, a basic Square account. Um, you, you'll notice when you're in your Square you can have different locations uh, because you may have diff different physical stores. Um, you may also have items in your store. And For example here I have five different items from sunglasses to a camera, just some sample products here and we've got some different pricing and so we're going to talk about how you can pull your products as well into EasyCart. And so I'm going to jump over here to this site and this is just a simple WordPress site. Uh, you can see I have some demo data on here. These are just some sample products that we have in our store. Uh, and this is the front end of WordPress and I'm going to jump over here now. I have the back end of my WordPress. So if you want to connect a WordPress site and start selling with Square uh, you can install EasyCart and this will get you to this point right here where you have uh, the ability within EasyCart to control products, orders, your users. Uh, this is the entire e-commerce side of things and EasyCart will give you this this product layout. It will give you an entire shopping cart, checkout experience and it will all connect to your Square account and that's what we're going to look at doing here. So first thing you have to do is very simple once you get EasyCart installed. Again, if you've never installed EasyCart, just go to plugins, add new, and you're going to do a quick search for EasyCart. That's all it takes to get it installed. Uh, we're going to now look at how we can connect it. And there's three different ways you can connect Square. Uh, you, when you first install it, it's going to ask you in the wizard if you want to install Square afterwards you could be running the free edition or you could be on our pro or premium edition they all include square uh, the only difference is the free edition has two percent easy cart fees whereas the pro and premium you don't have any of those square fees with with easy cart you're gonna always have your square fees uh, but you might want to eliminate those fees with easy cart and just have square fees if you're going to do a lot of processing. So uh, we're going to take a look here. We're going to go to settings and this is how you're going to go ahead and connect it. Uh, and under settings you're going to go to payment. And you'll see under payment here we can use the bill later method. We have a third party payments and we have a live payments. Now third party you're probably familiar with which is like PayPal it takes you out to PayPal you leave your website as a customer and live gateways is where you offer credit card numbers right on your website that doesn't mean anything is stored on your website that just means that it offers the location for a user to enter their credit card and so we have lots of different gateways here um, what I have set up is our professional edition uh, if you have our free edition you're gonna see the exact same thing but they might be sliders looking like this and so for square you'll simply slide it over uh, but this is our professional edition and it's the same process uh, I'm gonna go ahead on here and look for uh, square again we have in our professional and premium we have lots of different gateways to connect to and one of our most popular is Square. So I've enabled Square and I'm going to go ahead and click to connect. And what it's going to do is it's going to take you out to Square and it's going to want to make that connection. It's going to ask for some basic permissions. You might have to log in first but you'll see this screen. You're just going to go ahead and hit allow that this will uh, connect our store now to your Square account and that's all it needs to do. You'll see that you are now connected. Uh, you'll be able to see your locations so that you might have several different locations. You can see here I have a test location and so I'm going to go ahead and select my test location. That is this dashboard for my test location. 
Uh, next is your digital wallets. If you want to enable this, this is a great feature we just added. Uh, this includes Apple Pay, Google Pay, Microsoft Pay. Uh, it all processes through your Square account, but it gives the users on your website a one-click checkout and is becoming very popular. So it's worth enabling. It's also going to ask you, what you what, what's your merchant name, and I'm just going to say this is my test site for now. But depending on your location, you can give it a name. And you're now connected. Um, and that's all it takes now to start processing payments on your website. If I go ahead and add a product to my cart, okay, you'll see not only do you have your cart loaded, people can check out, but they can also use your wallet payments if you enabled that. Like, for example, I have Google Pay on this uh, screen. And if you click on Google Pay or you're not familiar with these systems, they just simply open up a window and quickly allow users to select uh, their payment, select their cards, uh, and they can just hit pay and they're done. Uh, they don't have to walk through your entire checkout process, but you certainly can. Uh, if I go ahead and hit checkout, I'll go ahead and enter, you can enter all your information. You can see it's already filled in on this sample and I'll just walk through a normal checkout process. This is like most e-commerce sites. Put in your address, uh, billing, select your shipping, and on the last page you can enter your credit card information. You can see right here it's by credit card. This is actually using Square, so if they just enter their credit card and submit the order, uh, it will go right through and show up on your dashboard. And so that's that's that piece of the payment processing. It's very simple. Enable Square, log in, accept the permissions, and and you're done. Um, they do have a sandbox mode. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to set up with Square. Um, so you know, unless you're a developer or you really need to have that feature, you might need to contact us in order to walk through the process of doing that. Now. This is just the payment processing, and a lot of people are curious, hey, I've got products over here in Square. Uh, you've got your items. Can you import these into EasyCart so that you can sell them on your store? You can see right now I just have uh, nine products, and we want those extra five. So what you'll do is you'll come over here, and this has to happen after you've connected to Square. So the next piece would be to go to cart importers. And we have several importers for several different uh, other shopping cart systems. For example, Woo. Uh, but we have the square importer. And it's going to say, hey, do you want to import the products? Yes, we do. And it's going to walk through and it's going to try to import all of your modifiers, all of your product variants, your categories. Uh, your pictures, everything it can and put into our EasyCart system. Now it doesn't mean that it's going to always uh, be a perfectly smooth transition, meaning we may have some stuff in EasyCart that Square doesn't offer. Uh, we have a lot of option sets. We have things I think in EasyCart that's a lot more complex and functionality wise than Square. So we try to do a best fit. Uh, you can see when I go to my products now, I have, here's several products that pulled in, for example, my camera, my sunglasses, some of my uh, beauty products. Those five products right here now exist in my store. And we can see it on our front end, if I just refresh my store. you can see we now have these products that were pulled in from Square. There's my sunglasses, there's my camera, there's my different beauty products. These are the same products that were built in Square as demo products. Pricing, descriptions, pictures, any options. Uh, we try to do a pretty good job of matching up that data. Okay, and if I come over here and take a look, for example, at my camera, I can edit my product and I can see it's got my descriptions, it's got my image, it all pulled from Square uh, as well as pricing and other other sets of information. So pretty good simple system. 
the nice thing about our importer is if you wanted to pull from Square every day or maybe a couple times a week, uh, you can come in here and go to the cart importer. And if you're going to run it again, you might check this box that says already imported from Square. So it won't rebuild or make new products. I can hit import. It will bring in anything new, but it's not going to duplicate all of your products over and over and over again. So this makes it nice if you want to pull it daily or weekly. Uh, you can always pull it down and it just keeps your products here. Anything new would come in. Uh, of course, we don't right now have a way to import back to Square. Uh, the syncing process going back is a little more complicated because we on EasyCart side offer more than what Square offers on their product side. And so it doesn't always line up uh, going back to Square. Uh, but that's something we're going to try to develop and work out uh, as we continue to use their system. Uh, Square's pretty young. It's a pretty uh, infant system uh, in terms of their online API system. So there's more growth there that's going to happen. But for right now, you can certainly uh, connect up as a checkout system. And it will process your payments. And orders will show up in your Square account, which is a, a really nice feature. Uh, and you can also use our importer and you can quickly get your products from Square down to EasyCart. So if you have any questions about it, uh, you can always chat with the representative on wpeasycart.com and we hope you find this useful. Thank you.